If you would like to use Mandrill in conjunction with MailChimp for your email SMTP provider, you need to have your MailChimp account integrated with your ClickFunnels account. And you also need to make sure that your domain name has been set up within ClickFunnels too. So once you're sure that you've got your domain name set up and your MailChimp integration is set up, then you can go ahead and select SMTP settings. You're going to add an email integration. And you're going to jump into your, your Mandrill account. You're going to go to the settings tab and then you're going to select domains. When you come to the domain name here, the DKMI settings and the SPF settings will not be set. So you're going to simply select view DKIM settings. And you're going to copy this long key. You're going to go into your domain name provider and you're going to go and edit your DNS records. So you're going to create a new TXT record. You're going to copy the mandrill dot underscore domain key dot and then your domain name. And you're going to input this key. Then you're going to do the same thing again with the SPF settings. And once you have added those to the DNS records of your domain host, you're going to select test DNS settings. When you do that successfully, you'll see these green ticks come up. Then you're going to go to underneath settings, SMTP and API info. And you're going to jump back into your ClickFunnels account. You're going to give your SMTP integration a title. So I would just call this Mandrill and your name. You're going to put your name as the from name. This is what the person receives in their email, who the email is actually from, which from email they're receiving it from. And then for this part that's highlighted, we need to jump back into our Mandrill account and get those pieces of information. So just copy your host, your port, and paste them into your SMTP server and your SMTP port. Your SMTP username will be inserted into the SMTP user. And you'll need to hit this button for the first time to create an API key. You're going to copy and paste your API key into SMTP password. Then you're going to put your domain name into this box without the www dot in front of it. And you're going to scroll down and select your domain name. You're then going to put in your registered business address and you're going to set up an email footer, which usually contains your business name, your registered address and the ability for somebody to unsubscribe. Once you've done that, you're going to save the SMTB integration and you're going to select verify email settings. It will then come back and say successful. And then the final part is to copy this uh, webhook, jump back into your Mandrill account, and along the settings tab, you're going to select webhooks. And you're going to add a new webhook. You're going to select the trigger of hard bounce, soft bounce, spam, and unsubscribe just four settings. You're going to give your webhook a quick description. So you're just going to call it the ClickFunnels webhook. And then you're going to press send test. And once this is done, it's going to come up again with a green tick to say successful. And once you have those bits done, your SMTP integration is now connected with ClickFunnels.